be safe, safety, be forgiving, forgiveness, be respectful, respectable. All things we're expected to think about whilst walking the streets. But when? When do these six amazingly simple words come into practice? Barely a week goes by without another Brit being brutally murdered in a knife attack. That knife you carry in your belt or pocket or shoe, that knife you got from your kitchen or ordered from online, carrying a knife is a death sentence. You may make up excuses like it's for protection or it makes me feel safe. Stop lying to yourself. From 2010 to 20, incidences involving a sharp knife to strike or kill a person have increased by a staggering 566%. Don't be the person to raise these numbers. Don't be the person to see how little force it takes for sharpened steel to puncture flesh. Don't be the person to take a life that was not yours to take. Did you know that the possession of a knife can carry a sentence up to four years, even if it is never used? Thousands of sentences like this are dished out like free samples every year, plaguing young people's minds with feelings of hatred and revenge. But who is to blame for young people hating each other and wanting to slaughter each other in cold blood on the street? I blame no one else but us. Our generation is selfish. We have an I don't care attitude. We are self-centered, have little to no empathy for anyone but ourselves. The mentality on the street is eat or be eaten. We would rather die than learn. I understand that countless young people face unimaginable challenges and don't have great startups in life. However, that is no excuse nor reason to rob each other of our futures, devour each other's chances. The name you make for yourself will soon be forgotten. The street may give you some passing recognition, but there is no respect in killing. Your victim will be remembered long after you are, and once you've blooded that knife, you may as well already be dead. You'll be buried from four to 25 years. Banged up for that long, only a fool would look back and say it was worth it. Teen Jodie Chesney was fatally stabbed in 2019 on the 1st of March. She was sitting on a park bench with friends on Harrow Hill. Judge Wendy Joseph, the judge who took on Jodie's case, stated that when the knife was driven into Jodie's back, the killer's intentions were to kill, justifying that this attack was premeditated. She also added that Jodie's death was a part of tit-for-tat attacks that had grown in ferocity around that time. Jodie was not, in fact, the target. Her killers had killed an innocent. Her killers faced a collective of 44 years incarceration between them. They were just 17 and 19 years old. Was it worth wasting their life, rotting in jail? Did they consider all of the consequences that this would have for all the people connected with Jodie? Or was Jodie's life just tit for tat? Now, I would like you to remember that you have a choice. Please stop knife violence now. And when walking the streets, be safe, be forgiving and be respectful. Thank you.